Hello and welcome back, Zeblin here. Let's play some more of our EU4 campaign as England. We're doing pretty good. We're needing to recover. Uh, we have a huge coalition against us, which is a little scary. I'm not really looking forward to fighting it. It's possible if I were to, say, declare war on Burgundy, that Portugal would join my side and so would Austria. And that may be good enough, but I'm guessing Austria may not join because Burgundy's part of the HRE, I believe. Isn't it? Now that I say that, not 100% sure. What's their flag look like? They have a lot of HRE provinces, I know that. A little red X. Um, Holy Roman Empire. They aren't. Interesting. For some reason I thought they were. I guess not. Let's see, is their capital? Ah, their capital's not. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, HRE would probably raise up for me. We'll have to see. We'll see. Um, let's wait for some of these to finish up. Let our manpower recover a slight bit more. Let's uh, maybe build some more troops. Yearly prestige plus one. I really don't think that it's worth the ducats or the... You know what? No. Not worth it. Sometimes it may be. I don't think it is. All it's going to do is slow down our decay. I mean, I'm losing four a year. I may slow it down to like 3.5 a year. Um, at the end of the day, I just need to go to war to to fight. I mean, I could fight Norway. There, I do have a cost of spell against them. I could feed Scotland. They're still under the personal union against Denmark, which means Denmark would be called in. Sweden is... Still in the personal union, but their independence is supported. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, so they would get called in. So that'd be a pretty big war I don't really want to fight right now. I mean, it'd probably be all about naval superiority. At least at first. But I'm not sure I have that. I have no heavies. Could probably build some. Not going to. All right. A couple more months in Austria before they're topped up. I'm going to call back Scotland for now. Let's survey our options. I'm not feeding things to France. I have all these claims. Austria would join. Friesland, Hesse, Baden, Savoy, Brittany, Leinster, Liege, Tyrone, Cologne, <laughs> Cleves, Utrecht, Galerie, Achen, Tyrir would all join. I don't see Brandenburg. That's something. And I can take out... Let's see how Burgundy's doing. This might be worth doing just to break up the coalition, you know? I mean, it's just going to make it bigger when I take stuff. Um, whoops. What am I? Burgundy. B. Burgundy. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. 10,000 manpower. How's France? Have they fully recovered yet? Not quite. About Austria. How good would they be in a fight? You know, they'd probably squish up all the other little one province miners. Hmm. There's a lot of little bitty countries. I think I need to recover some manpower first. How's France feeling about me? Any shot they're gonna... Well, their liberty desire is actually going down. 
relative strength to liege, unfortunately, is pretty high. Army size of 15. And then all vassals relative power to liege. Wow, interesting. I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay. Cool. I kind of want to do it. Kind of do... At least I'd be doing something then instead of just recovering. I haven't quite completely built my army yet either. Maybe I give it a little bit more time. Maybe one or two of these little things will fall out. Recruitment time. Um, hold on. Let's see. Am I behind time on? No, no. Not even close. Good. I just don't want to fall behind on the tech versus Brandenburg or something. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, so we're going to recall that dude. And build some more armies, I suppose. Trigger the mission. See what mission is left. Sounds good to me. And we're back. I'm sorry about that brief interruption. Uh, just someone came to the door. So, rebuilding armies. Not much else going on, I suppose. It's kind of a slow time. I guess I have a bit of recovery to do. So, then maybe fight Burgundy. There we go. There goes Brittany. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, a couple more of those. Not a problem. Our manpower needs to reserve or uh, recover. Not going to happen. Uh, reclaim Picardy. Might happen. Only gives 10 prestige. Not really worthwhile. My prestige will be capped if I fight this war. I'm going to hold off for a little bit. I know my manpower is not going to recover before I go to war. That is just way too long. It's like nine years away. Um, claims on our rivals. We have managed to produce very legitimate documents which show that we have a historical claim on one of their provinces. Alright, cool. Flanders. Awesome. So maybe I ought to be fabricating all the way across the board here. I'm not going to be able to take it all anyway. But if I'm going to take Holland... Hmm. How close to some of these others... They dropped out at 37. And yeah, they dropped out in January. So I might have to wait one year for some of these others to drop out. Though it wouldn't really hurt. I have claims on these. I could claim a more. I could just take a big chunk for myself out of Brittany. They're allied with Burgundy. Who I'm pretty sure if I call in as a co-belligerent, co I would, um... Savoy's not too big of a problem. They're in the coalition as well, so I wouldn't be able to call them in as a co-belligerent. You know what? If I declare war on you, Austria would come. It would call in Burgundy, which would give me a chance to weaken them. I may do something like uh, humiliate and just get a bunch of power projection for it. That might be worthwhile. Let me go ahead and start fabricating another claim over here. Just so I can get as much as I want. Start there. Maybe I wait until I have this one claim done. Start the next. I have a feeling if I get caught, they're going to join the coalition, though. Again. Are they in a coalition against somebody else? Is that the problem? 
No, they just plain... Just plain... Dropped out. Huh. Ah. Okay. I'm okay with this. Fight Aragon. Maybe I'll even peace out separately, which will piss off Austria a little bit. You know what? I'm not even going to participate. I think France is going to kick their butt. I may peace out with a humiliate Casa Spellia if I can. Let's see who all I'm at war with. Lithuania, Poland. Okay, not too bad. Portugal, uh, a little bit annoying. Fleets might be a problem. Um, personal Union in Poland, okay. So I need to keep that in mind if Poland comes into a war. I remember I was looking at that earlier. Thinking, yeah, Poland, who cares? I'm already at a war with Burgundy. No, I'm not. Sorry. Wow, I'm dumb. I was thinking of the Brittany War. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, if I already have part of the coalition in one war, I could start another war with one of the smaller coalition members and... Probably be just fine. Battle of the Celtic Sea. Okay, I won that. Should probably be a little careful here. Let's see, how much... Actually, they only have two heavy ships. I'm not too concerned by that. Maybe I had to unmothball my transports just in case. I'm gonna stack all these guys up, split them right in half. Instead of trying to figure out what kind of sp what kind of things I want. Oops. All right, how you doing there? Eh, not so great. Let's go ahead and let's just send you into battle. Screw it. I can stand to use a, uh, lose a couple ships, actually. I'm a little over my force limit. Protect against Aragon. This is absolutely going to happen, so I'm going to just take my free uh, army tradition. So Aragon's armies are going to get smashed by Austria. Maybe. I don't know. They might have some problems with Poland. Maybe I ought to come down here and siege up Aragon proper. I'm not sure. I think I'm fine. Okay, constables and temples. We are absolutely going to take this to get ahead of time for production and build temples. How are we doing on force limit? Maybe I ought to focus on that first. Actually, I'm pretty low on manpower, so force limit, not that big a deal. I'd need to build mercenaries if I really wanted to get involved. Naples, what are you doing over here? That won't do. Okay, anyway. Let's raise maintenance. And let's build temples everywhere. Oh, I have no admin points. So I'm going to dump a few points in building. Dump a little money, build some armories. I need armories and temples literally everywhere. Everything else I build a little bit more selectively, but... Alright, so I did that. Let's duck in for a uh, repair. Is there any sort of important center of trade or anything here? No, not really. There's the protect against Aragon. Alright, next mission. Accumulate money. Maybe. How much? 400? Nah, probably not going to happen. Probably worth prestige. Eh, maybe I take it. Alright, I need a leader. Eh, not too bad. Two shock, two fire. We're going to land in... Not. No, that's not how that's going to go. 
Hold on. Nope. Get on the boat. Damn it. Alright, you boats go up here. Now you go here. Can I just land? Yes. Perfect. Alright, no, nope. don't get too far ahead of the transports. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, good. Whew, barely. I should probably get a naval leader. Can I have two leaders? I can. I should totally get a naval leader. Let's just duck into Glamorgan here. And grab myself a naval leader. Bam. Oh, so good. Alright. And Clone left the military coalition against us. Okay, so that... That little problem with the coalition seems to be solving itself pretty rapidly. Alright, gain some ships. Gain some transports. I don't really need transports. Maybe I sell those in a little bit. Or maybe I want 20 transports. 20 is probably a good number of transports. That would be 18, so I'd only need to build two more. Let's... Where, where are you going? Why are you so fast, so much faster than me? I'm just trade ships. Trade ships should be the fastest. Uh, well, they have probably a good maneuver general, and they are only trade ships themselves. You know what? Let's block you off. Ah, never mind. I <laughs> caught him. All right, let's move my transports around this way. Might as well move all of them that way. I'm going to duck them into a, a cove here in a minute anyway. All right, you need to repair as well, so I'm going to put you in London, actually. Damn it, Portugal. Is Spain in this war? What's Portugal doing here? France, you are doing a terrible job. You should be sieging all the things and not bothering with anything else. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to bring my guys down. Alright, let's approach up. I really only need fifteen since I have two stacks of fifteen, but maybe I make them stacks of eighteen. Alright, let's uh attach transport. Go this way this way actually I want my troops in the south so let's move actually move this guy down to Cornwall to speed things up a little bit and get my troops landed in Laborde you're heading to burn I'm gonna cut you off you're no longer heading to burn. Why, why are you being so fast? Okay, that's fine. Go to Aragon. You know, I really don't care where you go. Let's win this little fight here. Chase you down like that. Excellent. Alright, Barcelona is your capital, right? Well, this is getting really choppy for some reason. Aragon's not your capital. Barcelona's not your... What is your capital? No, can't. Okay. Click here. Go to capital. Ah, Valencia is your capital. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm gonna detach siege and move south to stomp that. Savoy left the military coalition. All right, we're gonna be just fine. All right, definitely want to siege Valencia. Maybe I should bring my boats around. Blockade all this. Nonsense down here. I'm gonna take a minute. You know what? I'm gonna split you in half, move half to Aragon. Alright. 
Walls are already breached. Perfect. All right, what's going on in Portugal? Orleans and France, that's what they're focusing on. I wondered where France was. All right, so local noble power grows. I could ignore him, but gain some local autonomy. He loses stability or 13 noble regiments in Cornwall. Um, yeah, I'm not doing this one. I'll fight the local regiments. I have a 15 stack sitting right here. I just don't have a leader for him. So I need to get rid of the leader down here. Wow, that, this is getting really choppy. Um, let's select this army. Uh, move everything to the right unit. That frees up my leader. And there we go. Leader on a 15 stack. And we're going to fight. Should be just fine. Yep, not a problem. Lost a little bit of manpower, but that's better than stability. Especially when I'm already at plus three and that's not going anywhere. Alright, Portugal's screaming on its way over here. I don't like that. Who are you going to attack? Okay, well, France is going to come save me. They broke their siege to do it, but that's okay. I have the important siege. I have the capital. We have 74% blockaded here. Wait, this is my... I really only have 17 trade ships left? Whoops. Let's go protect trade in the English Channel and get out of here. Evidently, I ran into some problems that I didn't even realize. Probably should have paid attention. Probably ran into Portugal's fleet. There's not much of a fleet left on either side. All right. Siege of Valencia is over. Crap, okay. Detach a siege, go help. Merge up, I can grab a leader, grab my leader. Let's go up to Prino. Go smash up the rest of their army. Aragon, accepted peace. Oh. Nope. The Papal State. Alright. Well, that's a thing. Do you need to improve relations with them? Yeah, let's stop with you. Let's improve relations with you instead. Just make sure I'm nice and topped up with Rome. Let's fabricate a couple more claims on Brittany. I think they may be my next... My next conquest. Not sure, though. Not really in the correct trade node to do me any good. Yeah, not really at all. Oh, well. It's something. There we go. Another siege. Let's see. If I were to separate peace you, well, of course I just sent my diplomats halfway across the world. So we're going to wait a minute on looking at that. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time.